Let's try this here. We want to know which fraction, 5 eighths or 19 30 seconds, which is the larger fraction. So we could just take a calculator, divide 5 by 8, get a decimal, 19 by 32, get a decimal, and compare them. That would work. Another way to do it is to find a common factor, something that 8 and 32 go into evenly. Because if we can get the denominator to be the same, we can just compare the numerators and figure out whether 5 eighths is greater than or less than 19 30 seconds. So let's do that. 8 times 4 is 32. So I'm just going to say 8 times 4 here, and that will give me 32. Down here, we already have 32. So let's just keep it the same, 19 30 seconds like that. Since we multiplied the 8 times 4, though, here in the denominator, we do have to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. That's because 4 over 4 is 1. So we're multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. And that'll let us compare the fractions. 5 times 4, that's 20. And now, same denominator, compare the numerators. 20, that is larger than 19. So 20, 30 seconds, that's larger than 19, 30 seconds. Only by 1, 30 second, but it's still greater. Since these are equivalent fractions here, that means that 5 eighths, that's greater than 19, 30 seconds as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.